So like, mm-hmm. I think since like primary school, since we moved to East London, I used to be involved in like choir and stuff like that. I used to like, I like, I've, I've always you were been, like sing, just singing in general. Singing, performing. I've always mm-hmm. been like a creative kid, like a singing, drawing, playing with like plasticine and like making stuff out of that, like just expressing mm-hmm. creativity in any way I can at the given time was, was my thing. Uh, so I was I was always into choir. It wasn't like a major like, oh, I'm gonna be in choir to be a singer type. But it was just because I liked it. It was fun. Mm-hmm. And then when I came to Doncaster, I again in school in primary school I joined the choir, I joined orchestra, that kind of stuff. But then high school I didn't really do anything musical like that. But what I realized that I think being a musician was always at the back of my subconscious, because I remember I think I was around ten years old and I had this friend called Louis. Uh, this little chubby, this little chubby kid. We used to hang out every now and again. And one time, he came to my house uh, after school, and it was like, uh, and ah, uh, no, I remember exactly what it was. So in the play, in the playground at school time, mm-hmm. he was busy singing the song, da 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 da, and the melody got stuck in my head. Right. So when he came to my house after school, I was like, oh, bro, can you play that song for me that you're singing playground? It's stuck in my head. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, it's hard. Check it out, check it out. Mm-hmm. So that song was uh, Lil Wayne, Eminem, uh, No Love. So he puts on, and like, I think some, it was just like a light bulb switch. It was like, it just activated. So. For the next, I don't know how many weeks, months, but every day after school, I'm coming home. I'm listening to Eminem and Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. all their songs, all the albums. And to me, that's 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 well, that's, the, that's like the moment of where something changed for you. Yeah, something, something was awoken within the brain. Within there was an obsession con- almost. Mm-hmm. I think like just like lightning moment, and then like another time that was my only understanding of music like i wasn't even listening to albums properly i was just finding the individual songs and just yeah, like sure, yeah. listen to them i didn't even know what like album i just mm-hmm. listened to taking all in taking all in and then and then by the time high school is i'm really into listening to music i'm a core a hardcore music fan i'm taking in some some rock i'm listening to like lincoln park mm-hmm. papa roach uh, Evanescence, all the extra stuff. So yeah, so you're taking in quite a variety of different types of music, yeah. musics, musics, music. Yeah, that's a word. Music genres. Yeah. You genres. can say music genre. <laughs> I think it's yeah. interchangeable. Um, you can take my. I'm, I, got, I got a degree for music, so you. I, oh, okay. So yeah, you, yeah. you can take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you. I appreciate no. that. Uh, what was I saying? So, so yeah, where, where you had this moment, you had this like breakthrough moment of mm. discovering who you was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, you, you really discovered who you are. Yeah. Through that. Yeah, and I didn't even realize yet at that time. What was you at that time? Realize. It was just pure enjoyment. Yes, yeah, pure. pure. Just... I didn't even realize I was discovering myself. Mm-hmm. I was just enjoying. But later on, at this point, that's when I realized, oh, this was me all along. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so it gets to it gets to about high school. I'm trying to flirt a little bit with music now because I've been I've been like listening to music to the point like now this is most of the time this is what I think about when I finish school and I'm mm-hmm. home and I'm like oh can I freestyle a little bit can I write something a little bit and especially because in English class I always been a great creative writer I can write I can write amazing stories I can write like type of stuff that like when I used to come back to class that teacher would hold it up read in front of the class and be like oh guys this is an example of like a good story da 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 da. Um, so then in, I think around year eight, we started doing like poetry and reading into poetry and stuff like that. And I got really, really into that. That's what that, that, that was almost like a gateway to what I, to where I am now. It was like that. So we're writing poetry in class and then I'm going home and writing poetry on my Tumblr and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And just, just getting mashed. I'm, 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 I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to be a poet. That's what I'm <laughs> 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 That's what I'm thinking in my head. I'm yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. Well, why is that a problem? Why? Why? Why is it? Why? The, pro- <laughs> <laughs> the problem is okay. The, the the problem is because I was really I was a really smart kid. I, mm. I was. I'm still smart. I guess it's just yeah, yeah. expressed in different ways. I was a really smart kid. Like top of the class, top sets, everything like that. So I'm. So meanwhile, I'm thinking I want to be a poet. I'm telling people oh, when they ask me, "Oh, what are you gonna do after GCSEs? What's your plan?" I'm saying, "Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be a doctor. I'm gonna do this, do some surgery, stuff mm-hmm. like that." Meanwhile, I'm thinking I want to be a poet. <laughs> 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 Because <laughs> you know I, mean? I didn't want nobody. Like, face, it it, it sounded I mean? like you were quite a romantic when you were younger, like quite I like was. the romanticizing the like uh, you know what a lovely idea yeah. to to think I'm going to be a poet. Like <laughs> what, you know you're not going to be a doctor or a lawyer. You're going to yeah, be. You, I was like nah, nah. You you know but but what's wrong with that? Why should we discourage that? Why is, don't doesn't poetry add so much to to life and to the world and to culture and to people? Um, no. It does, it does. And you look maybe, at we, maybe we don't, because we're laughing about mm. it, maybe we don't value it enough. 
I feel we're laughing about it just so these guys feel <laughs> more comfortable. Yes. I feel like you and me get it. Yes, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I feel like you and me truly get it. Because mm -hmm. like, when you look at life, everything's poetry.